great. Well, hello. Um, I'm Veronica Craker with the PLU Marketing and Communications Department. And today I'm speaking with senior Jessica Zanobio. And Jessica is originally from Spanaway. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Hi, my name is Jessica Zanobio. I'm a graphic design major and I will be graduating this year. Uh, I chose graphic design as my major because I knew I wanted to do something creative in the art field. I liked how many options there were for jobs that I could do with a degree in graphic design. I also liked the art department at PLU when I got a tour of it and saw the different studio spaces and people there. During my time at PLU, I've had the opportunity to work on a number of design projects. Oh, great. Um, so now I know you have some of your favorite designs that you're going to share with us today um, as you kind of wrap up your senior year. So why don't you go ahead and share them with us and tell us a little bit about them, why you chose them. Sure. Um, the first one is my arcade website redesign. For this project, we redesigned a website for a design magazine called Arcade. It was super fun because we got to meet with someone from the team and talk to them about what they were looking for. Uh, in my redesign, I wanted big spaces to highlight different elements of the publication. And I think my favorite part about this one is the sticky nav at the top because the lighter part is slightly transparent so you can still see things behind it when scrolling. Nice. My next one is a type specimen. I created this in graphic design too, where we learned a lot about typefaces. For this project, we had to pick a type designer and a font that they made and create the specimen, which is an image that shows all the characters in the typeface. Uh, I chose this project because I really liked how I laid out the type and how it ties in with the zine I made about the designer. This is my sticker I created for Impact. I made this when I joined the team last year. Um, I think the really the colors really pop in the design, which is my favorite part of it. This one is a Mongolian banknote redesign. Uh, we had to redesign a currency from a different country, and I chose Mongolia. I focused on showing native animals and their habitat and uh, the animals are a golden eagle, Bactrian camel, and snow leopard. I also use a lot of traditional patterns and symbols. The colors also are inspired by traditional Mongolian clothing and art. And this one is my favorite, by the way. Oh, the thank you. you me. I really like this one. Thank you. Uh, this is my game level design. We had to create a whole uh, game concept and then create a level by collaging in stuff. Um, my game is called Starcatcher. The main character is Delara. You can see her there with her jellyfish buddy. And she has to go through platform type levels to collect stars that have fallen from the sky. Next one is my interior design book. Um, this is one of the designs I'm most proud of. We had to design uh, a space from a different time period. So I chose Meiji Peri Japan and created a Sento in The Sims 4 um, because during this period, Sentos changed. Uh, the book has some history, as you can see here, about uh, Sentos and their importance in Japan and how they were introduced. Uh, I used a lot of Japanese woodcut prints from around the area in the book. The main idea is to guide people through the steps of going through the rules of the Sento. Um, after things changed in the Meiji period. And this is a little screenshots from The Sims 4. My last one is my app design. This project was all about UI and UX. I create an app that curates knitting patterns from all over the internet. The main feature uh, is the Tinder-like pattern finder where you would swipe right to save a pattern and swipe left to skip. Um, I wanted my app to be super user friendly since the age range for knitters is very diverse. And became very popular during the pandemic, I have learned. Yes. <laughs> well, that's awesome. This is really impressive. Um, so I'm curious, since you've been you know, at PLU, what areas do you feel you've grown as a designer? Um, I think I've grown a lot in my awareness about the user's experience and how they view my work so I can make sure that what they see and what, or what everyone sees 
um, is accessible and easily viewed by others and not just what I think looks best to me. Well, thank you so much for taking the time to share your work with us. Um, we're really excited for you getting to go on and, and graduate. So thank um, you. I hope you have a great day. Thank you, you too.